sponsored by AC Designs. Ernesto is now a hurricane. It has sustained winds of 75 miles an hour. It's still bringing a lot of rain to portions of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. That's where we still have this tropical storm warning in effect. So mudslides and flash floods still possible there. But Ernesto is moving away. It will continue to move to the northwest and eventually to the north. It is expected to continue to strengthen as well. Gradually, it could become a category two hurricane by Thursday night and then perhaps a category three hurricane by Friday morning. Now it is expected to perhaps drop back in intensity to a category two before perhaps impacting places like Bermuda. And from there, it will continue up to the north. So it is not going to make landfall here in Florida, but it will impact us still first in the way of drier air. So we have a cold front that will move on through. It will bring drier and less humid air to the first coast, but Ernesto is going to reinforce that dry air over us on Friday, making it feel less humid and more comfortable. However, on Friday as well, we'll start to get the swell from Ernesto Nesto and we will have a powerful surf and rip currents kicking in on Friday. So although it feels really good outside on Friday, if you're going to the beach, just be aware that the surf is dangerous on our Friday and those rip currents will continue through the weekend. Now, as of right now, it is another brutally hot day. We have another weather impact alert in effect until six o'clock across Northeast Florida. Heat index values could reach up to around 110 degrees. So you know the drill by now. Just hydrate, take lots of breaks in the shade and the AC if you do have to be outside, but that relief is on the way. We have the heat advisory for Northeast Florida again until six o'clock. Temperatures right now sitting in the 90s for a lot of you. More comfortable though up in Waycross. Feels like temperatures they are only at 93. While meanwhile, for a lot of us, we are in the triple digits. Now on radar, we've seen a little bit of activity start to pop up. Most of us still dry, but I will expect more showers and thunderstorms to form into these afternoon hours. Right now near St. John's and World Golf Village, we have a bit of rain. We also had a little bit of rain moving through Jacksonville and then more of this rain passing through places like Flagler County now and a bit of Putnam County and for coastal Southeast Georgia, more of these showers and downpours starting to approach places like Brunswick and perhaps St. Simons Island. So as mentioned, a bit more rain through the afternoon and early evening hours, not a washout of a day. Not everyone will see rain. And then the rain will come to an end overnight. We start to dry out. We could see a few showers on our Thursday, but that's when the more comfortable air moves on in and high temperatures will be down into the 80s tomorrow and on Friday, but enjoy it because the 90s do return over the weekend. So for Thursday, in addition to the 80s, it will be breezy. That should help make it feel a bit more comfortable. And then Friday, we really have that dry air moving in. It will, will have lower humidity. The morning will be gorgeous with temperatures in the low 70s. Same thing for Saturday morning and then the 90s return. And by Sunday, I think the humidity kicks back in and we're back to a typical summer like pattern for the beginning of next week. I'm Katie Jefferson.